ان شاء الله فور اول يو اول اوف يو تو جيت ا اكسلنت اند جود مارك اند هاي ماركس طيب توبيك فور از يو نو ذات وي جاست تيك ون ليسون فروم توبيك فور ذات ذات از ليسون ون مابس اند داتا In this lesson, there are two important things. You have to know the elements or the parts of the map and also types of maps. Parts of the map, there are four parts for the map. Symbols, legend, compass rows, map scale. These are the, ma the elements or the parts of the map. Any type of map must contain these things. Symbols, legend, compass rows, and the map scale. What are the symbols? Are small, sometimes the symbols can be pictures, letters, lines, colors, and so on. They appear on the map and they have, you need a little or no explanation. And they need little or no explanation. They are easy to understand. You can sometimes understand these symbols uh, uh, directly without explanation. So symbols can be pictures, can be letters, lines, colors, and so on. You can see uh, the symbols for the, uh, how the symbols appear in page 158. The second part of the, of the map is the legend. The legend explains, uh, explains what the symbols mean. So it tells you what map symbols stand for, and sometimes the legend is called a key, okay? In some, types of maps, it is called a key. So a key or legend, they have the same meaning. The third part of the map is the compass rows. Of course, the compass rows tells you about the, the, the directions. Yani when you look at the map, how can you know that this, uh, this is the north and this is the south and this is the east or west by using the compass rows, it tells you or shows the directions and means and capital north east e south s and west uh, w and so on okay and the last part of the map is the map scale it tells you shows all the distance a map covers large distances are you uh, we use for large distances or in the maps large distances like uh, are you uh, in in the maps they use the different units. For example, uh, the scale on a map of large area would be in miles or kilometers, miles, MI, or kilometers. But if this map is talking about a small distances, like for example, the, uh, the a room, uh, uh, the units are different like meters or feet, uh, feet or meters. Meters and feet are used for small distances like a room. If we uh, the map is talking about large areas such as continents or countries or cities, we use uh, miles or kilometers. These are the, uh, the elements of the map, the parts of the map or the elements of the map, symbols, legend, compass rows, and map skin. Now, there are different types of maps. There are different types of maps according to what the map shows, okay? Uh, for, for, for example, the first type of maps is called a physical map. This types, oh sorry, this type of maps shows the features of an area, shows an area's natural physical features such as hills, valleys, lakes, rivers, bays, I'm sorry. So this type of maps the physical map shows an area's natural physical. Um, wait a minute, please. Time. So a physical map shows an area's natural physical features, such as the valleys, hills, lakes, rivers, waterfalls, and bays. The second type of maps it's called political map uh, by its name, political map. So it shows the countries, states, and cities, okay? Uh, for example, if you look at the physical, uh, political map uh, of Jordan, you can see uh, the cities, Irbid, Amman, uh, uh, 
زركا أكبا and so on. The, this type of map uh, are not interested in the hills or valleys or and uh, rivers what so on. Just show uh, uh, this type of map of maps shows uh, the countries, cities, and uh, states. And in this type of maps, the capital cities, which are which are the most important cities in any country, the capital city, uh, are often marked with the stars to show for you that this is the capital city. Okay, right. Uh, road maps by its name, road, road. So it shows the roads in a, in, in, in a country or in a city and highways, show roads and highways in an area. Road maps, of course, need to be uh, updated or changed when new roads are built or new old ones are closed. As you know that sometimes in any country, there are new roads. These, so roadmaps must be changed when new roads are built or when old ones are closed. For example, uh, if you use a roadmap for Irbid, uh, if you use a roadmap for Irbid uh, uh, 10 years ago, a roadmap that is, that is 10 years old, so you can't use it. Maybe it's not accurate because uh, for 10 years, uh, of course, many roads are built and also some roads are closed. So these types of, of maps are changed or updated, uh, updated every year because of course, always there are roads that people, that countries build or or roads that are closed. Type. Another type of maps is called a satellite map. This type of map, note please, very important point, you, you have to know that it is different from other types of maps because it's a re, an actual image of a location. For example, if, we, if you see a satellite map for Irbid, you can see actually uh, an image for Irbid. You can see the houses, uh, roads, the buildings, the hotels, and so on. So it's an actual image. It's taken uh, from a satellite. This type of maps uh, shows an image of a place. So it's an actual image of the place taken from a satellite. It's different from other types of maps because it's an actual image. Also, another types, another type of maps is the resource maps by its, no, its name, resource. So this type of maps show, this type of maps shows what can be produced or in or taken from an area. For example, uh, coal, petroleum, silver, gold, plants like sheep, goat, uh, whatever, animals, plants, forests, all of these are called resources, as you know, natural resources. This type of maps shows that what this country or this city uh, produce or export, okay? The important natural resources in this area and what can be produced in this area, okay? And you can see it, an example of resource map in your book. Fine. This is everything about uh, this lesson. This is everything. I want to go to topic three. Now, I want to go to topic three, but before that, do you have any questions or comments? Do you have any comments? I will give you the chance now to talk. Do you have any comment or any questions? Malak? Naam Malak, Fadali. ايش يا ملك؟ المابس تايبس اوف مابس؟ طيب ماشي اوكي. ماب كيل اي دينت اندرستاند ماب كيل ان تايبس اوف ماب. طيب اوكي. خلي الناس بعيد مش مشكلة. يلا. Again, uh, 
any type, any type of map, any type of maps must have parts or elements. These types or this, this, these parts of the map help us to understand the map. Without these parts, we can understand the map. If you look at the map, suppose that you are looking at the map and there are no, no symbols or no compass rows or no legend. How can you know? How can you understand this map? So any type of map, whether it is political, physical, physical map, political map, road map, satellite map, uh, resource map, any type of maps, it must contain these these parts, symbols, legend, compass rows, map scale. What are symbols? Symbols can be pictures, can be letters, lines, colors that appear on the map. These symbols, in many cases, they do not need explanation. You can understand them directly. Okay, bye. The second part of the map is the legend. A legend or sometimes it's called, it is called a key tells you or explains for you what map symbols stand for, okay? Uh, the compass rows tells or shows the directions north, east, south, and west. I think that is very clear that, for example, uh, when I am looking at the map, suppose that I am looking uh, on a map now, and I see the campus rows like this. It always, okay, this is, for example, the campus rows, okay? This is north, south, okay? So, by looking at the map, I can know that, suppose that this is a map, okay, I know that this area, for example, is in the north, and this area in the south, here, east. This is west, okay? So it without the compass rows, I can't know where is the north, where is the south, where is the east, and where is the west. Suppose that there, are, there is no compass rows. How can I know that this is the north? How can I know this is the south? Okay, bye. Uh, the last part or element of a map is called the map scale. And th this the map scale shows the distance a map covers, okay? For example, large areas would be, would be in miles or kilometers and small, small scale uh, are measured in, uh, in, uh, in feet or meters. Look, the map scale, for example, here, For example, this is Erbid, okay. This is Erbid, okay. For example, and this is Amman. Actually, yani in fact, the distance between Erbid and Amman is 80 kilometers, okay. But I can't draw a map. I can't draw a map with 80 kilometers long because it's <laughs> impossible to, write, to draw a map with 80 kilometers, uh, a distance of kilometer, 80 kilometers. Now, when people or engineers draw a map, for example, for each one kilometer, for for example, they consider it once one centimeters. So. The distance between Irbid and Amman in the map, it will be eight centimeters. Okay, for يعني, one centimeters in the map, okay, means one kilometer. Okay, that's it. It's, sorry, 10 kilometers. One centimeter on the map means what well, actually 10 kilometers, stands for 10 kilometers again. The distance between Irbid and Amman is 80 kilometers. This is the real 
distance. This is the actual distance between Irbid and, and Amman, 80 kilometers. How can I draw a map like this? How can I show that the distance between Irbid and, and, and Amman is 80 kilometers? By using the map scale. On the map scale, for example, just for example, one centimeter stands for means 10 kilometers. So the distance between Irbid and, and Amman on the map must be eight kilometers, eight, uh, sorry, eight centimeters, because each, uh, each centimeter stands for 10 kilometers. Okay, so since the distance between Irbid and Amman, 80 kilometers, okay, and each centi, one centimeter equals 10 kilometers. So I must, the distance between Irbid and Amman on the map must be eight centimeters. Right. Suppose that, suppose that the distance between Irbid and Al Karak, for example, Karak, uh, for example, 200, 200 kilometers. Okay. This is the real distance 200 kilometers so since one centimeters okay one centimeters i again it equals 10 kilometers so on the map the distance between Irbid and Karak must be 20 centimeters okay so on the map Irbid Karak must be farther from Irbid the map must show that Karak is farther from Irbid Okay, that's it. This is the called the map scale. Uh, sometimes, in some types of maps, يعني yani on it's not only it must e always one centimeter equals ten kilometers. Sometimes one centimeter may be equal to uh, thousands, one thousand kilometers, according to the distances that the uh, map covers. Sometimes you can use uh, each one centimeter equals 1,000 kilometers. Sometimes one centimeter equals, uh, for example, uh, 2,000 uh, kilometers and so on. So, يعني, in another way, the map scale, map scale, sometimes people use this map scale to, to to show for you the distances, to explain how the areas are farther from each other. Again, the map scale try to help you to uh, imagine the distances. For example, this area and this area. Yani here, for example, on the map, maybe it 10 centimeters, okay? Okay, if the map scale, for example, if one centimeter, if one centimeter stands for 1,000 kilometers, 1,000 kilometers, so the distance between this point A and this point B, real, the real distance between A and B, it must be one, uh, 10,000 kilometers. 10,000 kilometers. So the, the map scale help you to imagine or to show for you the real distance, try to, to, uh, to show you the real distance between two areas. Right. Types of maps, There are a physical map by its name. It shows the features, the natural features, physical features of an area, such as hills, valleys, lakes, and so on. The political map shows the countries, states, and cities, and always the capital city marked with the stars. For example, the political city of Jordan, Amman, must be marked with the stars. Uh, the road maps show the roads and highways in an area, and the Satellite map, it's an actual image for the location. It is taken uh, from a satellite, like a picture or an image. Right? And the resource maps show what can be produced in or taken from an area, such as animals, plants, coal, silver, gold, and so on. Right. 
طيب الان شو راي في حد مش فاهم عشان نروح على التوبك 3 اذا سمحتوا انا مش فاهم شيء نوثينج شيء واحد بس ايش يا ناتالي ايش اللي مش فاهميته شو يعني هذا الكيلومتر و طيب الام و اي وكان طلع شو هون مثلا في عندنا في عندنا ديستانسز In science, not only in science, in math and in so on, they are distances. Okay, ah, and see, I'm not into. I took. I'm going to ask you a question. I took on the distances in math. No. Abadan. Okay. No. طب عمرك سمعتوا بالمتر one meter. example yes yes طيب في عندنا yes yes one meter طيب one meter for example equals one hundred centimeters يعني each one hundred okay يعني two meters أكم two meters أكم دائما abbreviated as m two meters أكم centimeters فيهم two hundred Exactly. Thank you. طيب. Now there are larger distances than than meters. Example. Another example. في عنا كمان units. Units. There are units. There are units that people or scientists use. Units that people use to express or to show the distances. Or to show distances. Okay. Type one of the most important unit, one of the most important unit or famous unit that is used to show distances. It's called kilo meters. Okay. One kilometer. It is abbreviated as km. One kilometer equals one thousand. Meters. Right. For example, the distance between Irbid and Amman. Because I know this. Because you have like how can I like you, my name? I remember I remember this like my name. One kilometer. It is well known in science that one kilometer equals one thousand one thousand meters. Understood? Five. Three kilometers. Now. Three kilometers. Has has been given examples. The distance between Irbid and Amman is. Is eighty kilometers. So, how many meters it is? If I want to change it to meters, do you know how much? Eight meters. No. Stop a little. Let me show you. Let me show you. Eight meters. Tala. One kilometer. One kilometer. If you know that one kilometer equals one thousand meters. Okay, five. Two kilometers equals how much? Two thousand. Five. Three. Three thousand. Yes. Five eighty equals eight thousand. Eight thousand. Excellent. Eighty thousand. Only for the kilometers. Yeah, which is which is easier for you to write to write that the distance between Irbid and Amman, eighty kilometers or eighty thousand meters? Of course, we know this is easier for us to that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Fine. 
Now for small distances, for example, if we want to talk about small distances, I mean, for example, the length of the room, my room, for example, the length of the classroom, the length of the classroom, it is only four meters, for example. Okay, because it's very small, four meters. Okay, but if I want to talk about the distance between Irbid, more example, Irbid and Al Aqaba, which is farther, the distance between Irbid and Al Aqaba or Irbid and Amman? Irbid and Al Aqaba, of course. The distance between Irbid and is are 400 kilometers. Is equal to 400,000 meters. Okay. Five. Now, how can I show uh, on the map? How can I explain for you on the map that the distance between Irbid and Al Aqaba, for example, how can I show? that the distance between Irbid and Al-Aqaba is 400 kilometers. Suppose that I want to draw a map with 400 kilometers. It's very, it's impossible to draw a map with this length. So I can use something called map scale. On the map, scale, on the map scale, for example, I can use a, uh, for example, for each one centimeter, centimeter is a very small. Mean and Mastara. Teacher, why are we talking about the, the centimeter and the kilometers and all that stuff on the map scale? It is a centimeter. Teacher. A centimeter. Wait a minute, please. Okay. Can you see me? Look here. All right. Look here. Yeah. This is a ruler. We can't see you. Tala yeah. Tala we can't see it. It's too invisible. Tayyip. Yeah. Tala. I can't it's, see it. Look here. Zero. Zero cm centimeter. Cm means. Yeah. Yes, thank I you, Muhammad. Tayyip. This ruler, it. this ruler is 30 centimeters. 30. Okay. 30 centimeters. Can you see? 30? 30, zero. Look at the one centimeter. One centimeter is very small. This is one centimeter. Look here. This is one centimeter. Then this is two. This is a three. Huh. These are three centimeters. Look here. From here to here, it is, from here yeah. to here, it's 10 centimeters. All of the ruler is 30 centimeters. All of it is 30 centimeters. Okay. Let's do the map scale. The map scale. We don't have time for the revision. The map scale. Uh, you have to know that it's talking about the distances. I want you to know that. Yes, Map scale shows the distance a map covers. Okay. Now we to the lesson topic three. Topic three. Okay. Teacher, why were we even talking about the kilometers and the miles and all that stuff? Stanish, uh, Omar, inshallah later, later, in inshallah grade four, five, and so you will learn more about distances. Don't worry about okay. it. I want to, yalla, uh, we want to uh, re so make a revision. The word is not clear. Yes, sir. The word is not clear. Yes, sir. يعني بس انه تعرف شو الديفينيشن تبعه مش راح اجيب اوف كورس مور ديتيلز 
طيب طيب استنوا علي شوي ممكن شوي خليك شوي بس افتح اوبن توبك 3 بليز Open. Topic three. Uh, topic three. Lesson one. Yalla. Topic three. Waves and information. Open, do la. Yeah. Yeah. Tamam. Open. Yalla, mash. Yeah. Yalla. We're gonna talk about work today. Yes. Taib. Okay. Jahzin. Yalla. Uh, waves and information, lesson one, lesson one, properties of waves or characteristics of waves. What is a wave? It's a disturbance that carries energy and travels in a repeating pattern. The, any wave, any type of wave, whether it is light wave, sound wave, ocean wave, whatever, it is a disturbance and it carries energy. All waves carries energy, all waves carry energy and travels in a repeating pattern. What is the meaning of disturbance? Disturbances that causes a wave are vibrations. Disturbances means vibration. What are vibrations? When something vibrates, it goes back and forth, travels back and forth like this. Okay? So, in tap, you can do like vibrations. When you move your back to the front or to the front, or to the front, this is called vibration. So, waves are Vibra yani are caused by vibrations and they carry energy and they travel in a repeating pattern. They, something that repeats itself. Uh, one back and forth motion makes one wave. One, yani one back and forth motion complete one wave. The energy that causes the vibration is the energy carried by the wave. The, yani these vibrations that that causes the waves, they are carried by the wave. Waves, again, carry energy, carry these vibrations. Waves, in general, need a medium or a material to travel through, like air, uh, water, uh, solid. In general, waves need a material to travel through, like air, water, and so on. This material is called medium. There is one exception for this, that light waves are the only waves that can travel without a medium. They, they can travel through empty space. So light waves, like sunlight, for example, come to Earth through space. It doesn't need a medium. Light waves do not need a medium to travel through. They do not need a medium to travel through. Again, خلينا نرجع من أول شوي عشان ما waves carry energy. They are a wave is a disturbance that carry energy and travel in a repeating pattern. The disturbances that causes waves are called vibrations. What is a vibration? When an object vibrates, it travels back and forth. طيب one back and forth motion complete one wave. The energy that causes the vibration is the energy carried by the wave. And the vibrations need energy. Okay? These vibrations need energy. This energy is carried by the wave. Waves need a material to travel through. This material is called a medium. What is, what is the meaning of medium? 
like air is a medium, water is a medium, uh, the wall is a medium. For example, sound waves can travel through air. This is a medium. Sound waves can travel through water. This is a medium. Uh, sound waves can travel through solid substances. When someone, when someone is knocking on the wall, suppose that you are in a room and someone is knocking on the wall that outside the room. How can you know, see, uh, sorry, how can you hear him? Because sound travels through solid materials. Type. One type of waves, the only type, the only type of waves that can travel from place to place without a medium, it doesn't need any of the light waves. Only light waves do not need a medium to travel through. They can travel through space. Type. Wave speed. Any, any type of wave, any type has its own speed. Of course, not all waves have the same speed. Some, what is the meaning of speed? How fast a wave travels? When you say, when you say for example, this car is faster than this car. The same thing for waves. For example, light waves, light waves uh, are the fastest. Light waves are faster than sound waves. Uh, wave speed is different according to the type and according to the medium. Again, wave speed is different or depend on the wave type and wave medium. For example, light waves are faster than sound waves. About the medium, for example, sound waves travel faster in solid materials than in liquids and gases. Look here, please. Wave speed mean, means how fast the wave travels. How fast the wave, this is the meaning of wave speed, how fast the wave travels. Okay, example, light waves are the fastest types of waves. So it depends on the type. The wave speed depends on the type. So light waves are fastest types of waves. They are faster than sound waves. They are faster than ocean waves. For another example, sound waves are faster than ocean waves. So not all types of waves have the same speed. Type. The wave speed also depend on the on the on the medium. Okay? The wave speed depends on the on the medium. Some for example, sound waves travel fastest in solids, okay? Yani sound waves, the same type of waves, sound waves, travel fastest in solid and the slowest where in air. As I told you at the beginning of this unit, or of, of this semester in topic one, if you remember that, because the particles of matter in air or in gas are very far from each other. So for this reason, sound travels slow, very slowly or slow, uh, slow in air if we compare it to solids type. Uh, this is the meaning of the wave speed and how it different. So wave speed is how fast a wave travels. It depends on the wave type and wave medium. For example, light waves are the fastest types of waves also sound waves travel faster in solids than in liquids and gases. Type wave characteristics or wave properties. Uh, there is something called amplitude. The wave amplitude is the greatest height of a wave from its resting position. And you can look at page 109. This is the 
uh, the wave amplitude like this. Suppose that this is a wave, okay? The amplitude is the distance from this line to the top, sorry, from this line to the top of the wave. This is the, uh, the amplitude, Lahon. Again. Suppose that the uh, R waves, this is called the resting position. The amplitude is the distance from here to here. This is called the amplitude, okay? طيب. And this is called the crest. And this is called the trough. The crest is the top point. The trough is the bottom point. Time again, the wave amplitude is the greatest height of a wave from its resting position. High amplitude sound, for example, sound waves with high amplitude are louder. Yani sounds that are louder means they have high amplitude and soft or low uh, sounds uh, low than uh, sounds with low amplitude. Soft sounds have low amplitude okay when you are talking loudly when for example when you are shouting your your sound or your voice your sound has high amplitude at this case when you are talking when you are whispering amplitude low okay this is for just for example wavelength it is the distance between similar points on a wave or the distance from the lowest point of the wave to the next lowest point of the wave or the also the distance from the crest to the crest. Look here, please. This is the wavelength. The distance from the here to here is called wavelength or from here to here is called the wavelength. يعني معلش الرسم انا مش بتطلعش معي كويس كثير بس يعني بحاول اوضح لكم الصورة اكثر هون هذا this is a wavelength also this is a wavelength also you can measure it from here from the trough to trough or from the crest to crest طيب so the wavelength is the distance between similar points on a wave or the distance from the lowest point of the wave to the next lowest point of the wave. طيب. Frequency, يعني the, التردد, التردد, the number of wave repetitions in a certain amount of time. Again, the number of wave repetitions in a certain amount of time, the frequency of a wave is also connected to its length. Uh, here, look, how many waves, the frequency, يعني قديش مرت a كم wave خلال مثلا ثانية, like this, طلع. Here, for example, the frequency is higher than this. The number of wave repetitions in a certain amount of time. We can express frequency like this, for example, 20 waves per 20 waves per second يعني 20 موجة 20 wave ثاني واحدة هيك معنى frequency مثلا لما نقول 20 waves in one second that means 20 waves passed a certain point in one second يعني another example we can say that 100 waves per second means that which is uh, here for example the frequency here is higher than the frequency here 20 waves per second means that there are 20 waves that pass a certain point in one second 100 waves per second means 100 waves pass a certain point in one second so not all not all waves have the same frequency but what is the relationship between the frequency and the wavelength. Waves with high frequency are shorter, okay? 
but if the waves, if we have waves with low frequency here, like this, you can see that it is longer. So waves with high frequency are shorter. They have a short wavelength. Waves with low frequency have a longer wavelength. Okay, there is the frequency of a wave is also connected to, the, to its length. Waves, it's very important to know, waves with high fr higher frequency have shorter wavelength and waves with lower frequency have longer wavelength. Five. And there are two types of waves or patterns of waves, the transverse waves and the longitudinal waves. Again, there are two patterns or types of waves, transverse waves, longitudinal waves. They, okay, a transverse wave, بالعربي معناها موجات مستعرضة هيك معناها بالعربي transverse wave is a wave that moves perpendicular to the direction of the particles like this this is in math when we say that this is perpendicular like this this line is perpendicular to this for example the particles suppose that these are the particles of matter okay sorry these are the particles for example the waves move like this, and the particles are here. These are the transverse waves, okay? So transverse waves are moves perpendicular to the direction of particles, and you can look at page 110 to, to the, this page shows the transverse waves. The energy of the wave moves perpendicular to the particles too. too. Also, as, as you know that the waves Waves carry energy, so the direction of the wave and the direction of energy is like this, perpendicular to the direction of the particles. The second type of waves is called longitudinal. Uh, okay, a transverse waves have a crest and a trough. Crest is the top point and the trough is the bottom point. Here, like this, this is a wave or transverse wave, okay? This is the top point of the wave. It's called the crest, okay? And this is the bottom of the, the, of the wave. It's called the trough, T-R-O-U-G-H, okay? This is another crest. This is another crest. This is the trough, okay? You can measure, for example, the way the wavelength uh, here by the distance between one crest to the next one. And also you can measure it by from the bottom point or the trough to the bottom point. This is the wavelength, right? So the transverse waves have a crest or a top point and a trough, which is called a bottom point, the trough, the bottom point. Longitudinal waves, are different from transverse wave because moves in the same direction as the particles, okay? Like this. If the particles move the, to this direction, the longitudinal waves move to the same direction. It's called longitudinals. They are move in the same direction and the energy, of course, of the particles, the energy of the wave, sorry, are also moving to this direction. So the longitudinal waves move to the same direction of the particles. If the particles here, the particles of matter, the, for example, air or water, what, what, whatever, the longitudinal waves move with the same direction of the particles. Bye. Uh, longitudinal waves compress and expand as they move like this. As they move, the longitudinal waves compress like this and sometimes expand. Expansion is like this, okay? Sometimes they compress and sometimes they contract, uh, sorry, expand. They are called compressions and rarefactions. Okay, bye. Now waves again, Waves 
I want to remind you that waves carry energy. Transfer means carry. Waves transfer energy through a medium, but do not transfer the medium particles. This is very important point to know that the waves, yes, they carry energy only. Waves carry only energy. They do not carry the particles. Waves carry energy only. For example, when sound travels through air, when sound waves travel through air, they carry the energy of the sound or sound energy. They do not carry the particles of air. When sound waves travel through water, they just travel as they just carry sound energy. They do not carry the particles of water and so on. Uh, ocean waves, for example, the, when they are moving, they are just carry energy. They, they do not carry the water itself. But people, يعني مرات لما بتطلع على البحر بتفكر إنه المي هي الموجة قاعدة بتنقل المي. لا. The waves, the ocean waves, they do not carry the water. They just carry energy. طيب, this is everything about uh, lesson, uh, lesson one in topic three. الآن بدنا uh, uh, نعمل بدي uh, أعمل break. شو بالله بس شوي اسمعوني. نرجع على 12 ونص اوكي ماشي بدي اخلص الميتنج نرجع على 12 ونص كمان ساعة تقريبا ماشي يلا يعطيكم العافية ايش يوسف بدك شيء؟ Can you tell can you write in the what is it called؟ اسمع اكتب لكم على الواتساب نرجع على 12 ونص بعد لكم لينك يعني okay. راح نكمل الحصه راح على تيم 3 ان شاء الله ماشي يلا جود باي باي جود باي يلا سلام باي باي